I am going to take a closer look at desktop server which can replace MAMP and it will hopefully also make it a little bit easier than MAMP to use. So go to serverpress.com products desktop server So we have some information here. There's a free one, limited, and a premium one. So we'll just start with the regular version. Go to Downloads. And I'm going to download then the limited one for my Macintosh. OK, it's downloaded. And I'm going to open it up in my downloads folder and here it is I also unzipped it and I'll click install and we'll go through the process of installing desktop server new desktop server limited installation and if one wants to or needs to later on one can upgrade it Okay, so we're done and we can go to application and XMPP folder and open up the program. So in program we have the programs folder on my Mac, we have XAMPP folder and here's desktop server. Open it up. So we're going to restart desktop server with privileges, yes. So it's going to start Apache and then MySQL services. Next, create a new development website, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to call this uh, testing and here's the blueprint. So basically in the blueprint folder, which I'll show you in a moment, you can put a newer version of WordPress or anything else I guess in here too and just try it out and see what works. So site root is then uh, in the documents folder, websites folder and testing. So I'll do a create here. Okay, let's check it out. And we'll go to then the new install of WordPress. So basically it looks like desktop server just takes care of the database for you. So I'm just gonna call this testing, admin, call it something else in admin. This is just for tests, so I'm just calling it that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five my email install WordPress okay log in admin one two three four five and log in okay here's the uh, basic site then 2013 let's check it out it looks like it's working Okay, so let's go to Documents and Websites. I have a few from earlier I tested. Here's Testing Site. Here's the various WordPress uh, stuff. So I can go into Themes, for instance, and drag a few themes in here. And same with the plugins. Or I can just install it in a normal way in the back end of WordPress. So this seems fairly simple to get into. So let's try and find the Blueprint folder. Uh, here's Blueprints. So here I can place a newer WordPress file as well. Blank, non-WordPress. 
So this is basically just a blank index file and you know, it's fairly easy to get into. I'm going to show you a few more things how to use desktop server. When I go back to my blueprints folder, I placed two new files here. WordPress 3.8.1, which is the newest one right now, and EasyWeb is a backed up site I made through Duplicator. So back into desktop server, I need to restart it so it picks up what's new inside the blueprints folder. So I'm going to create a new development website. So I'm going to start first by the backups, backed up site I have, which I made through with Duplicator. I'm just going to call this um, back up site and create. Okay, it went through the steps and it says done. Backed up site. Okay, so this is my easy web design tutorial site. And from just looking at the front end, it looks like all the images are in here. Uh, I can click around to see if everything comes up as it should. And then I can log into the back end. See if the admin works out okay. Okay, I'm going to start by looking in media, see if the images are in place in the media library. That looks good. So it looks like everything is in place. Okay, and then I can just move on. The other side I want to create is one that's not WordPress. So I'm going to do select the blank non-WordPress and I'm going to call it just a site um, with PHP because that's what it has in it, some PHP files. Create. And next, a site with PHP. So it's then using the default uh, blueprint which is just one index file. I have some uh, PHP files here, something called flexible, called flexible contact form with admin panel. I'm going to put that into the websites, a site with PHP. I'm going to select all of this because I just want to check out what it is. And since it has PHP, uh, you need a, a Apache server to look at the files or upload them. And this came with the uh, index PHP, so I need to rename the index HTML. Then do a refresh, and here is then the PHP form, which uh, shows the different files and folders in here. So this works fairly well. There's one more thing I want to show. I'll do next here and I'll click sites and sites is this uh, overview of the various development sites you have available here I have three of them right here and uh, you can go click that or you can just write localhost up in the URL line and this page will show and so it's fairly easy as I said before and uh, to get into desktop server